Tonight, 13 Investigates takes all of us inside of a research lab that most people don't even know it exists. It's where researchers believe they have actually figured out a way to practically eliminate drunk driving. But it could mean your next car will be equipped with a new gadget that some people consider to be controversial. Our senior investigative reporter Bob Siegel got exclusive access to the lab in Boston to show you how the technology works and when you might have it in your car. Okay. Bettina Pearson is still grieving, and all those tears. Her 17th birthday. Their tears. Is coming up next month. Filled with what ifs. She should be a senior when school starts again. Tiara Pearson was walking to a nearby grocery store on the south side of Indianapolis when she was run over by a drunk driver. Paramedics rushed the 12-year-old into surgery, but Tiara's injuries were too severe. They took me in the room with her, and I sat there with her, and she never woke up. And then they took her off of life support, and she passed away. It's a tragic story that plays out all across the country every single day. Each year, more than 10,000 Americans die because of drunk driving. What if there were a way to put a stop to that? To physically prevent someone from driving if they've had too much to drink? 13 Investigates has discovered that may soon be a reality. Inside this laboratory near Boston, researchers are developing what's called the Driver Alcohol Detection System for Safety, or DADS. Engineers are trying to do the unthinkable. Teach your car how to detect if you're legally drunk. And if you are, then your car wouldn't move. Most people have no idea what you're doing in here. It's very complicated. I don't want to call it rocket science, but it's pretty close. Bud Zauk is leading the ambitious project, which is exploring two different types of technology. The first one captures your breath and pulls it into a sensor, where a beam of infrared light then calculates your precise blood alcohol concentration. The second type of technology features a touch base system built into your car's ignition button or gear shift. It uses tiny lasers to shine a beam of light onto your finger. And that special light reads the alcohol level below your skin surface. The challenge that we have is to measure alcohol concentration or blood alcohol concentration very accurately, very precisely, and very fast. Less than blink of an eye. So you have to do the measurement, the reading, and decision whether this person can move the vehicle or can't move the vehicle. That can all happen in a half second? Yes, it has to. Uh, again, the idea here is we do not want to inconvenience um, the driver. But would you want an alcohol sensor in your car? Developers say it would be an optional piece of safety equipment for consumers who want it. However, critics worry it will become mandatory in all new vehicles, that the technology is unproven, and that it will crack down not only on drunk drivers, but also on those who drink responsibly. A lobbying group that represents restaurants told Eyewitness News dads will simply stop many responsible social drinkers who have a glass of wine with dinner from starting their cars. But many doctors say the benefits of the technology would far outweigh those concerns. And for proof, they point here to the University of Michigan's Transportation Research Institute. A few weeks ago, the Institute released this eye-opening study. It shows alcohol sensors installed in all new vehicles would cause the number of drunk driving fatalities in America to plummet. Patrick Carter, an emergency room doctor at the University of Michigan Injury Center, is the study's lead author. Putting interlock technology in all new vehicles could prevent over 59,000 fatalities over a 15-year period. 59,000 lives saved. That's staggering. Yes. This is the type of um, critical leap that's needed to solve the problem of alcohol-impaired driving. Whether you support the idea or not, you are paying for it. The federal government and your tax dollars are funding development of this technology. Congress and major automakers have partnered to pledge a combined $45 million to develop the vehicle alcohol detection system. And the final bill will be much higher. It's expensive, somewhere around, you know, maybe 80, 100 million, who knows. Uh, but that's what it takes to develop technology. Engineers have now been working on this project for seven years, focusing on how to make the alcohol detection system smaller and more accurate. We've come a long way. We've made a lot, a lot of progress. And now they even have a prototype. It's still a little clunky. 
and not as seamless as the final product. You won't be seeing any of this. It will be integrated inside the vehicle itself. But it's just the latest sign that the project is moving full steam ahead. I have three little kids. For me personally, I want to see this system in vehicles before my kids start driving. Bettina Pearson wishes it had been developed a long time ago. When innocent people die every single day because of somebody else's bad decision, something needs to be done. Almost five years after Tierra was killed by a drunk driver, Bettina still holds on to her daughter's clothes, her letters, and her pictures. Because it's all that I have left of her. And she holds on to hope that one day soon, an alcohol detection system might prevent thousands of other families from feeling her pain. It didn't have to be my daughter that was killed that night. It could have been anybody's child. We're doing all this so that we prevent something like that from happening again. And this is the best opportunity we have today to do it. Project engineers hope to begin road testing the technology next year, but it will likely be five to eight years before it's perfected enough to commercially be available in new vehicles. To be truly effective and to really save lives, Researchers, researchers say the alcohol sensing technology would need to be installed in all cars and trucks, not just a few of them. So, of course, everybody wants to know what about the cost. It's going to add something to the price of a new car. It will. The estimate is somewhere between three to five hundred dollars per vehicle, but uh, researchers say that uh, consumers could quickly recover that money in lower insurance premiums and repair costs and medical bills associated with drunk driving. So, we'd love to know what you think. Would you be willing to pay? an extra $400 or so to have this technology in your next mm -hmm. car? Let us know. We've got an online poll right now at WTHR.com. It'll be an interesting discussion online. Yes, it will. Thank you so much, Bob. Yeah, it's a thought-provoking issue. Mm -hmm.